budgets and today we're gonna do a weekly check-in so we're gonna see how I did with my money this week and also I just want to say thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel for leaving the comments I always wanted to start this budgeting channel and I was kind of nervous and kind of like talking myself out of doing it but honestly I love it so much like this is fun to me you know and now that I'm finally doing it I love it I enjoy it I do this for fun so and also like i said this really do hold me accountable it really does like i like this like i really do i like recording the videos posting them it just really helps me out at the end and this is fun so thank you guys so much for watching my videos commenting subscribing thank you guys so much for that i just really appreciate it and so as you all know in my last video the goal was to only spend 40 dollars because that's all i had left within my budget so let's see how i did and yeah let's just get into it okay so as y'all can see, this is where we left off. So we left off on the 12th. We're going to start from the 13th until the 19th. So on the 13th was a Friday. And actually, I did not do anything. I was working on my essay. As you guys know, in my last video, I had a 15-page essay due. So I was really trying to work on that, trying to get it done. Also, in my last video, I was kind of, when I rewatched it, I felt kind of anxious because I was just so, like... I get stressed about the essay, you know, like that's a lot of pages and it was a lot to write, but I'm back in a better mood. And when y'all see how much I spent my money and what I did with my money, y'all will see I was in a good mood this week. So yes, the 13th was a no spend. So we're just going to write no spend. So yeah, 13th was no spend because I was mainly writing that paper and trying to get that done. The 14th, as y'all can see, my bill was due for Hulu. I spent $23 in gas and $15 at Panera Bread because I went to the library. I studied for like three hours at the library and I got hungry, so I got some food. So first, we're going to start off with gas. So gas was $23. I just kind of put that on my card, but I'll just put $23 for gas, okay? And then I also spent, and also for my car, I'm so happy because it only takes literally $23 for a full tank. So that's good right there, okay? I spent $15 at Panera Bread. So like I said, once I left the library, I got hungry and it was time to eat. So I got Panera Bread and guys, I'm honestly obsessed with Panera Bread now. I never ate it like that before, but now that I eat it, I like it. Like I really do. I think... That's probably like not my new favorite spot, but I do like it over there. Like their pastries are really good. Cause y'all know I had a budget and everything, but like I said, I don't think I put into consideration my essay. Like I don't think I really did because, you know, having to study and then work, like I wasn't really considering that, but it's okay. Okay, next up on the 15th. So the 15th was actually when my essay was due. It was due at midnight. And so the 15th was also a no spend. And that's because I stayed home and I typed my essay. And I did type majority of this essay on the day it was due. I don't care. It's okay. You know, as long as you get it done. Okay. And also, thank you guys so much in the comments that like told me good luck on my essay. Just thank you guys so much because I really needed that. And that just really just gave me like a good mood. So thank y'all for that. With my budgeting I was not using my cash like I should have. I started getting my card out. You know how you, when you get your card, you got to pay yourself back and all that and put money in the bank. I, I think what I'm going to do from now on is probably leave my card at home. And truthfully, I know that's a lot, but I'm going to have to. I'm tired of swiping my card because when I swipe my card, I go over budget, okay? But it's okay. So what happened on the 16th? I graduated college December 2020, okay? I got a whole bunch of gift cards from family and everything. And tell me why it is August. 2021 and I still have not spent them gift cards so I said you know what I'm about to spend these gift cards because if I don't do it now I never will like never you know like I, I just be forgetting I got them so I looked up in that wallet I saw them gift cards I said oh time to spend like I got it it's time to you know get what I want so I went to Bath and Body Works y'all and I love it so much I got this air freshener and it smells so good it's for my car so I got that so let me show you guys what I got from Bath and Body Works. Well, this is the uh, car freshener that I got. And it's Champagne Toast. And this is the freshener right here. And y'all, this smells so good. Like, I haven't put it in there yet because I've just been so busy this week. But I will. And from the sample, it smells so good. 
So I love this so much. And then I also got their Champagne Toast Perfume. So I got the Mini Fragrance Mist. And y'all, I'm loving this smell. I really love smells, so I had to get it. And so with it, everything was cost $12. So we'll put 12 and I'll just put bath and body works. So, and also, I don't know if I said this before, but sometimes like I struggle with like treating myself, you know, like, I don't know, sometimes I do struggle with that. I really want to work on that and just take care of me sometime and spend money on me. And then I also went to H&M. Tell me why. I had a whole H&M gift card, right? And I did not use my gift card. Like, I really forgot. Right when I got my bag and I walked out the store, I was like, I had a whole gift card that I forgot to use. So really, I'm not going to count this because technically, I'm not going to be like, oh, I spent 20 I have a whole gift card. I just did, forgot to do it. So I'm not going to like, you know, just really count it. It doesn't matter. Okay, next up, my sister wanted some chips like always. I guess that's the thing about having an older sister. You want them to get you stuff all the time. So she asked for it and I get it to her. It's like when you got a car, they be like, give me this, give me that. And I don't say no. I don't. I just get it. <laughs> I don't know. And also I may change this family snacks thing. I will do something about that but I may change this next paycheck I may get their own separate envelope for my siblings that way I can just I guess have it separated and on the 17th I got breakfast at McDonald's with six dollars and guys I always get their ice mocha frappe and I add whipped cream on it with the chocolate syrup and guys that tastes so good I always get that and one time I tried their iced french vanilla latte and I did the same thing I got the whipped cream on top and the chocolate like syrup on the top and y'all I love it like their drinks their coffees and stuff taste real good and this is also the day I took my sister trying to get her hair done for before school started so that's how we got the breakfast and then she wanted chips, so I got her some chips. So I got her that. And then, oh, I went to Michael's. And guys, let me show y'all what I got. I'm really happy I bought this because I, well, I wanted some stickers. Like, I wanted some just budget stickers for when I do my weekly check-ins. And I also wanted a change jar because I have a lot of change saved up. I've been saving up change for like a long time. So this is my jar that I got. Just a plain jar that I'm gonna start using. I'm gonna put all of my old change in here and I may record it, all the old change that I have stored up. So that way y'all can see how much change I got. That's all for that day. And then the 18th, got chips. For my sister okay and then I also got groceries because as you guys know I am a substitute teacher and school starts and I did pick up a day for tomorrow so gas was 23 so let's start with food 15 at Panera Bread Plus six at McDonald's that gave me $21 in eating out and as you can see eating out I only had 10 so that tells you guys that I pulled from other envelopes okay groceries 24 household nothing okay so spending all together 12 Plus two, plus two, plus 14, plus two. That's $32 I spent on spending and stuff, y'all. Let's just add it up and see. 21 plus 24 
plus 32. 77. I spent $77, y'all. So, 77 minus 40. That means I'm $37 over budget. $37 over budget. It's really not that bad. I'm not going to stress about it. It is what it is. So that's my overall weekly check-in. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.